Okay, we would be starting off turn number five, but I kind of messed up some things there at the end of turn number four because I confused myself. But I've gone back, looked at the video, I saw what I did, and I've reset everything back to the state that it was before I made the mistake. So I was updating my sheet, and I went to uh, say that Alyssa drew a treasure card, but what I did, and I'm sure you saw it on the video, some of you were probably screaming, is I reached down and I drew from the encounter deck instead, and I drew this encounter card. And I've just got it face up because obviously I already know what it is. So then I drew this card, I rolled the 11, and then I drew another treasure card that let me get rid of the bat swarm. And then Alyssa took the point and died. And then I was confused because I'm like, wait a minute, where's the tile? <clears throat> so I've reset everything back. And so now when I come over here, I'm going to draw from the treasure. Of course, we already know what it is. But this is the one that's going to let me uh, discard the environment in play. So my, my reaction would have been, oh, great. I get to discard this, uh, this environment. So this, this won't be a complete waste. So playing on from there, uh, we would put that on the discard pile. We would get rid of our environment. Now we would, that's going on the wrong pile. Now we would draw from our dungeon tile stack and it's a black tile, which in some sense is a good thing because now I'm taking the encounter that I would have taken otherwise. So we put that down. Now we draw our monster for that tile and we get a zombie. So I'll go ahead and place that down. And we'll draw the zombie off the table, put it on the bone tile of the new, uh, new drawn tile. And we'll update. So again, she did explore, she got a black tile, she got a zombie, and there's no blessings or conditions. Uh, she does get an encounter. The rats are gone, and we've got that zombie that we'll activate. So now we're now we're back on track. So I hate messing up like that. Honestly, it makes me want to just start the game over, but luckily I luckily I'm recording so I was able to see exactly what happened and I was able to backtrack everything and get it exactly back the way it was before I screwed everything up. So now we go for our encounter and again I just left it face up because we have already seen it, we know what it is, and I'm going to keep the the roll. I'm not going to like try to re-roll that and get a better roll or anything like that. So she rolled an 11, which means she takes that hit point of damage and she's down. Uh, but it also says we get a treasure card. Now the treasure will be in a slightly different order, but it's in the, it's in the order that it should have been in. So that goes away and now she will get a new treasure card. So let's see what the new treasure card is surround them and this is a blessing not even quite sure how these play out considering she's down but we'll just um we'll just play it like normal because she we do have healing surges left so until the end of your next hero phase each hero gains a bonus to attack rolls equal to the number of heroes uh yeah heroes on his or her tile so i'll just place that here just to remember that it's there and we'll update Alyssa, and she got the surround them um, blessing, and that will go away at the end of her next phase. Now, even though she's down, there is isn't there is a hero that's still active, so her zombie will still activate. So if the zombie is within one tile of a hero, um, and technically, from the zombie's perspective, it's not, because when a hero is down, it's as, from the, from the perspective of monsters, it's as if they don't exist. So we go to the otherwise condition. Otherwise, the zombie moves one tile to the closest hero. So the zombie moves up here from bone pile to bone pile. And that will be the end of turn number four. So I got everything unraveled and all sorted out. So it's just like it should have been.